Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The um, One of the things a couple of people have been asking on the SDK AWS setup is actually how to set the project up from scratch. So um, for those of you who are sort of not familiar with uh, GitHub and enabling Maven on your projects and stuff, I just thought I'd show you how to actually set up the project from scratch um, and uh, and get it going, right? So um, I'm just gonna, I've already got the project checked out here, but I'm gonna check it out again from scratch, okay? So here are the steps. You basically go to VCS, version control, and check out from version control, GitHub, and then enter the 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 URL to the, the GitHub project. In this case, um, I've already linked the, the link down below. So it's AWS Java Hello World dot Git from my repository. Um, I'm gonna give it a new name. Um, because you can't create local projects with uh, duplicate names. So it's gonna be a brand new project called AWS Java Hello World 5. Um, I'm gonna just do clone. What that's gonna do is basically copy that local Git file, or that remote Git file, sorry, onto my local machine as a new project, okay? So now up here, I'm gonna do unregistered VCS root detector. So I'm gonna do add root up there. And I'm gonna do Maven projects need to be imported, so I'm going to do um, enable auto import, and that should be that should be that. So if I if I now go to my project tab, and now I see I have my brand new AWS Java Hello World five project. Okay, so this this checked out all the all the code that we need to run the examples from from GitHub. And um, if we just have a look at the the POM quickly, so as I said, we, so we have we have the POM. Required for the for the Maven uh, Maven configuration already set up, and it declares our dependencies uh, on basically all of the AWS Java SDK uh, binaries. So, the M Maven, for those of you who are unaware, is a kind of it's a tool that's running in the background here, um, and it's managing um, the the build lifecycle automatically for me. Any j any libraries that are required, it's pulling them in over the internet um, in the background, so I don't need to actually explicitly download any jars or anything like that, it just does it in the background. Um, so, and then if I go to source, we can see all our all our code here, right? So bucket utils, credentials, uh, S3, JDK example, and, and, and that's that, that's basically it. Now that, that project is now ready to go. There's nothing else I have to do. Um, I've set the project up completely from scratch. Um, so if you can see, um, if you do add framework support, you can normally see, okay, well, we have Groovy, Scala, um, if Maven's not enabled already, that that would be um, would be there as an option. But this has already been um, checked out as as a we've already set it up as a, as a Maven project. So that means that the if, if any changes that I make in these Java files, um, it's already being built in the background. So there's nothing else you have to do whatsoever. Um, there's the this here's the actual example, um, which we've already seen. And if I um, if I just run this, it's not going to work because the, the credentials, as I mentioned in the previous video, you need to insert your own credentials in in this file here. Th these are my old credentials, so um, they've been deleted. Um, you need to enter your own credentials at that point, and then you should be able to go into this file, and you should be able to literally just do run, and then run like this. And then it says, okay, so which we're going to run this class here, and it's going to probably complain because um, because we don't have valid credentials, but I just wanted to show you, um, show you that it's uh, that it's working. Okay, so so we've got the, the 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 project actually successfully run. We have an error message down here that says the AWS Access Key ID does not match our existing records. So that's expected. If you go away and um, insert your own credentials, download your own credentials from, from your own IAM user account. Um, you should be absolutely up and running and ready to go. Okay, so any more questions, leave them down below the video. I'm ha more than happy to help you guys. This is more a, a kind of uh, for the benefit of those who are not familiar with uh, checking out projects from GitHub um, and enabling Maven control and, and all that kind of thing. So as I said, uh, any more questions, just leave them below and uh, happy exploring. Thanks for watching.